What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. As you know, Tyson Fury uh, came off a very bloody war with Otto Wallen, won uh, via unanimous decision. Had two cuts that uh, it happened in the fight over his eye, one on the eyebrow and one right above his eye. And uh, I was saying in my video last night, I didn't think he could, uh, would probably be able to make the Wilder rematch on February 22nd due to an extent of his injuries with the uh, two cuts over his eye. But uh, Bob Arum has, has come out in, in the boxing scene article and said that the, the cuts shouldn't prevent the Wilder rematch from happening on February 22nd. He's saying, uh, you know, with the cuts, they saying the doctor said the cuts were, it was a clean break, so it's not going to... Uh, require any micro surgery so he'll he'll be, be stitched up and uh be able to come back for training uh bob Arum said that if it uh if he's out for like two months where he can't spar or train that'll still get him enough time to uh, get ready for the fight typically most fighters need at least eight weeks of training before a fight and a fight of this magnitude sometime uh i think dylan white one time said he needed 12 weeks to uh when he was in negotiation for a uh, uh, Anthony Joshua rematch. I don't think you need that much, but I think a minimum of what fighters need is probably eight weeks, and I think that'll be enough time for Fury to get uh, right. Uh, if he misses, say they say Aaron's right, he missed two months of sparring and training. We're in what September right now. You got September, you got October, November. That'll put him right around uh, middle part of November. You know, probably a week before, a week two weeks before Thanksgiving holidays. So that'll still, you look at from November, you look at December, January, February, that's basically uh, approximately around 12 weeks. That'll, so that'll be plenty enough time for him to train properly, get his conditioning in order, and get ready to fight uh, Deontay Wilder. So looks like uh, that fight's not going to get pushed back. As long as Wilder defeats uh, Luis Ortiz, that fight will take place February 22nd. That's what uh, Tyson Fury's uh, promoter is saying. He said that, and uh, I think Frank Warren, uh, both 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 his promoters, uh, Bob Arum and Frank Warren, are saying that they uh, feel that Tyson Fury will be able to uh, make that fight date on February 22nd. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, man. As far as the fight goes, uh, Tyson Fury is going to have to clean up a little thing. He's going to clean up his conditioning, and uh, he's going to have to. Um, he was a little bit lighter in this fight, and uh, he, he did seem like he was a little bit. He seemed like his punches were a little bit quicker. But he had to kind of abandon that plan once he got cut, and he had to make it a phone booth fight, and he had to kind of try to maul uh, Otto Wallen. He used his head, to, you know, kept his head in uh, Wallen's chest. He pushed uh, Wallen's head down, and, you know, pretty much used his weight, and that's basically how he uh, was able to uh, change the trajectory of that fight, man. He made it a close fight. He uh, bullied him, mauled him. He did the old Klitschko trick, keeping pushing his head down. and kind of just uh, zapped uh, Otto, Otto Wallen's uh, energy. Uh, to, for most of the second half of the fight until that 12th round when uh, Wilder was able to hurt him with that same left hook that he cut his eye cut him in in the third round. So that was that was the, that was the punch that uh, that was the money punch for Otto Wilder. That left hook, man, he cut him open with the left hook and he hurt him real bad in the 12th round. Had uh, Tyson Fury holding on for dear life as he you know just hold on and uh, not get uh, knocked out in that 12th round. I'm sure uh, Fury was probably having flashbacks. Uh, Deontay Wilder knockout in the twelfth round, so he held on for dear life and was able to get the decision. So he's gonna have to clean some things up. Like I said, he's gonna have to clean a lot of things up. First of all, he don't have the punching power, and his punch resistance is is is, is not the same. It wasn't great to begin with, as he got dropped by a cruiserweight and USS Cunningham. He's been uh he got dropped in that ninth round by uh, Wilder when he got clipped uh, top of the head. That wasn't a Punch that was flush, and he got dropped on that one. So he doesn't have the greatest of uh, resistance of punches anyway. And I think it's got worse since the uh, Wilder knockout in the 12th round of the, of the first fight. His punch resistance is not as good, so that's going to cause a whole lot of problems. He's going to have to be perfect against Wilder. He get caught one time, and Wilder, it's, it's lights out. This fight, he's going to get knocked out. Uh, that's what that's that's what uh, that's what um, Wilder does to you. Many people are wondering uh, about Luis Ortiz in the uh, rematch with uh, Deontay Wilder. Luis Ortiz hasn't looked that great his last two fights since the Wilder fight. He hasn't looked that great. So a lot of people are not giving him a great chance to beat Wilder in the rematch. And that's because of the, the fight with Wilder. Wilder takes some out of you out of his fighters. Once when they're in the ring with Wilder, they uh after that fight, they're not the same fighter 
as when they came into the ring and fought Wilder. It's when they leave the ring after Wilder destroys them. And that's what happened with uh, Fury. And that's what happened with that's what's happening with uh uh Luis Ortiz, man. That's why he hasn't looking as uh his old self and uh, when I mean old self, I mean not literally old, but that's why he hasn't looked as good as he's looked before the Wilder fight. Then and has he looked after since the Wilder fight? And his last two fights has been kind of lackluster. He's got the job done, but he just hasn't shown the same uh, same form that he showed uh, during the Wilder fight and before the Wilder fight. So that's what Wilder does, man. He's a knockout artist. He concuss people. He takes some out of fighters that they can't get back uh, once they fight him. And that's that's the case with Tyson Fury, and that's the case with uh, Luis Ortiz. As we get close to that fight, man, I do a little bit more breakdown of uh, Ortiz Wilder fight. It's uh, slated to take place November 23rd, 2019 at the uh, MGM Grand in Las Vegas. And we'll, we'll break that fight down a little bit more. Hopefully, he'll take care of business, and then we'll get the fight everybody's been clamoring for since last year. That'll be Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury, the rematch, and find out who's the top dog in the heavyweight division. This is JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holla.